Hi friends, my name is Denise Byron. I am the maker and designer behind Byron Handmade. Today, I'm really excited to share with you a new design. It is by far my most versatile accessory. I'm calling it the Hat Dana, and that's because it is a hat, a bandana, and a cowl. So why don't we look at it together? Here it is as a bandana with no hair showing in the front. Um, you can see the cables down the center. And if I turn around, I'll let my hair hang down the back, make sure it's straight. And hopefully you will get a pretty view. I'm going to turn around and show you what this looks like. So I can wear my hair down and feel pretty and girly and still have a hat that covers my ears, which I absolutely love. All right, here is my look number two. I have pulled a little bit of bangs or fringe out, so some hair framing my face, and I really like to wear it this way. What do you guys think? Kind of cool, hey? La tercera opción es poner tu cabello en trenzas para que te parezcas a caperucita roja. <laughs> or if we say it in English, uh, option number three is to wear your hair in braids uh, in two piggies or one ponytail. Uh, so that in my case, you kind of look like little brown riding hood. <laughs> but wait for it. I've got option number four for you. Just a moment. All jokes aside, this is what it looks like as a cowl. Let me look. Let me move back. Oh, yeah. So my issue with most cowls is that they kind of hang down to here. And you've got all this wind and air going. So the uh, hat dana sits up pretty close to your neck. Perhaps you're a person who has textured hair and your beautiful curls and coils or thick afro hair don't fit underneath a traditional hat. So what I've done with the hat, Dana, as I'm wearing it now, is I've inverted it so that the point is facing upwards and now it fits like a traditional head wrap. I want to show you what that looks like. My biggest challenge with my textured hair is that I simply could not wear a normal hat. But now we have the hat Dana and we can all wear a beautiful hat. Okay, I am back and I have the little tween size hat Dana to show you. This was on my blocking mat, on a yoga mat. Um, <laughs> so it's still a little damp. But it's the tween size hat Dana that I made for my friend's daughter, who is going to be doing a little photo shoot with me tomorrow, so that I'll get to share it with you next week. Uh, but yeah, so now you can see the hat Dana in a different color. And yes, it has a tail still attached. That little tail is going to turn into a tassel, which is part of the video series to follow this introduction. Uh, I will show you how to do that. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to give you a very sincere thanks for, number one, purchasing this pattern. Number two, letting me share something with you that I love so much and that was this, like, crazy idea in my head that I just had to make and I, you know, made a million prototypes until I got it just right. Um, I hope you love it as much as I do. I really do. This hat Dana has is the product of love <laughs> that I want to share with you. 
and I hope you make it and it keeps you warm and cozy and lets you feel good like you can wear your hair down and be fabulous too. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, yeah, have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.